Hey guys, Dax Castro here again, Chax Training Consulting. I wanted to share with you another great feature about Common Look that I really enjoy. Common Look's a very powerful tool, but one of the things that really helps me is the speed at which I can move through the tags tree, rearrange things without having to constantly go back and forth to my mouse and the keyboard shortcuts that helps me do my job quicker. So let's take a quick look at a document here. And so I've got this PowerPoint document and we can come in here and hit flatten tags and that removes all of those pesky section tags that we get from a PowerPoint. But now that I'm in here, I can just start moving through the tags tree and see, okay, there's an H2, well, I've got an H2 and an H2 there. So maybe I wanna make that an H1. Well, I've got insert and convert and the shortcut key for insert is control shift one for an H1, control shift two for an H2, on and on. So I can very easily come in here and go, okay, there's my titles in H1, there's my H2, this should be an H1 again. So I'm gonna go control shift, the number one and immediately it changes. I don't have to go grab my mouse. I don't have to move up here to the tag tree. I don't have to right click or go into properties. I can just hit that quick shortcut key and it changes it. So let's do this pretty quickly here. And there's another one, control shift one, and then I'm gonna keep going. And I'm looking for these multiple H2 tags and I can quickly see where they are and kind of be able to go through it and very easily maneuver things around. Um, let's take a look at another feature uh, and these shortcut keys, of course, in PowerPoint, you're mostly do dealing with H1s and H2s, but of course the shortcut key works for H1 through H6. Um, another great feature is the ability to move items quickly. So let's go down to a slide where things aren't uh, maybe the order they're supposed to be in. We can see that we have uh, we're missing some of our graphics, right? Our graphics are not in order. We go from the R in the red triangle to the G in the green square, and then down into this bottom stuff. So if I wanna move this into the right order, what I can do, uh, and then of course, there's the, the text that goes along with it. So what I can do actually is I can just hold down control shift and I can just press the up arrow and it moves that P tag. You can't really tell here. This is that P tag for but wise, but use them wisely. And you can see it moving up in the order. And I can just simply move it up until I get it right below that H2. And now I, it's right where it's supposed to be. And I didn't have to use my mouse. I didn't have to drag. I didn't have to cut and paste. I simply just selected it, hold down control shift and moved up or down. So the same goes for these other elements. So I can go in here and I know that closed these three lines, I hold down shift and press the down arrow to select them all. And then I'm gonna go up one level. So now I go R and then my, 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 words there and then I know that I want Y to be the next one so I'm going to hold down control and shift and then press the up arrow and then uh, I need caution and slow so those are down here hold down that shift to get both of them press the down arrow and move it up one and very easily you could start to see everything's in order and I didn't have to pick up my mouse I didn't have to move things around I can just use that control shift up or down arrow or maybe just the shift and down arrow to select things makes it super easy to move things in and around um, the, the tags tree. Another great feature where we actually can use our mouse with Common Look is when we want to rearrange the order of things. So maybe that we, like on this slide, um, the text to the right here happens to be backward order. For whatever reason in PowerPoint, someone didn't put them in the right order. So we wanna fix that very quickly. What I can do is use my mouse, hold down the shift key and select these in the actual order that I want them to be read. So if I start with the the what is the bottom tag, because these are obviously in the opposite order I want. If I start with the bottom tag, hold down shift and click on each one of these, it's now selected in the order I want. And I just move them up. Then guess what happens? 
it actually rearranged it in the order that I selected it in. Now I can then just take those and drag them, you know, move them down back, you know, back down one slot, one uh, tag if I want to, but it makes it super easy to kind of rearrange things that aren't in the right order. And again, you use your mouse and you just simply select them in the order you want and maybe move them up one tag and back down, or maybe you do need to move them and you move them somewhere else. But as soon as you move them with your mouse, it actually reorders them in the order that you selected. I really love this feature. At first, I really thought it was a pain in the butt because, you know, when I'm selecting things, I don't always, don't always pay attention to the order in which I select them. And then you move it and all of a sudden the order gets twisted. But once I found the useful, the usefulness of it, it made it really easy for me to, to rearrange things that weren't in the right order very quickly. My name is Dax Castro for Chax Training Consulting. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip about Common Look. Look for more from us in the future.